G'day folks, Pakira here and welcome back to Elm Creek. We are in the Canolas. It is say it's the same day as we last left you, but um, it's the afternoon. You can see the time now is just about quarter past three in the evening. In the afternoon, the sun is out, supposed to be cloudy, no rain is forecast, so we had that little shower. So we're just gonna get jumping into the canola here and getting her harvest. So we're going to do the same as I'm probably going to take a couple of headlands out. Um, actually, I'm probably not going to worry about a headland, uh, too many headlands this end, uh, against the sunflowers and the edge of the over there, the edge with the trees and the creekers. I'll probably take a couple around the other parts, but come down here, I think we should be okay with just the one, um, because we've got this field now is empty, so I can utilize this anyway if needed uh, for the turning. Uh, still haven't kind of figured out which is a good way to come into this field um, and and sort of harvest it in terms of well, the rows and how we're going to do it. It's quite an ob-shaped field, but uh, we'll do what we can with it. I think we should be okay. We just try and stick to 90 again. It's a bit of a rough job, and I can see we're already kind of missing a bit here as we do along. But um, that's not too bad, but it's salvageable. It's not nothing huge, again, like I said. Um, but... Yeah, I'm wanting to take this bit here, and we're just gonna we're gonna just reverse a bit here, and I'm just gonna come in and take this rough corner here, just to start with. It's mainly about just getting headland, and like I said, I will probably come around down here this end and take another headland off, just uh, to give us a little bit more room should we need to um, maneuver, especially going down towards the sunflowers. Um, we don't want to take much off there, don't want to risk into our last crop. So we should have a good lot of canola here coming in today. Uh, I haven't really checked the yield, but the yield was looking in the high 90s, if not 100% in some areas, I believe. Um, so again, we're not looking too bad. This is this field formerly known as Sheila's, so this is a combined field now. Um, so yeah, so really good I think uh, should be really good for us in terms of getting some harvest off this and certainly going towards uh, oil production it should definitely give us a heck of a lot more uh, product I should say and uh, hopefully we'll be able to get a lot more oil out of it because uh, if you recall we did get I think off the top of my face we've got a good whack of oil uh, profit from the last load um, and that was only a little bit of, that was only what, two and a half, no, three pallets, I think, um, of canola um, oil. So, yeah, we did quite well considering the amount we, we took off there. Um, you know, so this will be at least, well, quite easily double of the uh, previous amount. So not too shabby at all. Um, yeah, I am going to go down, like I said, I want to take one more one more off the end there where the canola is. So the sunflowers are, they're looking magnificent. And then go back around the um, tree line and then come back up and down the rows. We'll cut into the field about then as well. Hopefully we should be okay. We're not going to be using the trader. We don't think we'll need to with these fields being so close. Uh, we'll just take the auger to the uh, silos. When it comes to the sunflowers, I think we probably will utilize um, the trailer, however. Now, I did um an R a while back, and I did mention a couple of episodes ago, maybe, regarding the possibility of getting a helper. Uh, but I think we should, we're going to be really well here. Um, I think we're doing... Um, yeah, we, we're coming along nicely. We're getting a good chunk of it. We are pushing the late afternoon of this field, so we'll be... You know late in the day when we finish this field but it is springtime so we are quite lucky in that aspect um, actually summer time sorry so it's quite lucky because we do have the extra light now at our disposal um, so okay, I'm going to try this I don't know if I'm going to succeed type turn main concern is not hitting the sunflowers and we should be good to go there we can take a second off We'll just kind of cut this corner a little bit as we go around the edge here but yeah that's going to give us a little bit more room it's probably also going to give us um, space with the um, 
moving and maneuverability, I should say. In the last episode, folks, obviously the same game day, uh, we did have to rescue our veggie tables. Thankfully, uh, we had a run in with the same situation. We forgot to give them water. But uh, we got that salvaged. We've still got the one pallet of eggs from the chooks. Uh, they are still good in f terms of feed. Uh, we'll look at that um, and show you that if I remember at the end of this uh, harvest. And um, we should be good. I'm going to keep following this around actually. And then I'll cut in um, from the other, the other end. But yeah, it was good. So uh, the week we've got off the... Field 47 will be enough, more than enough, to uh, we'll keep us some of that aside for the chooks. Um, it's going to just it save us a little bit of money. I think about oh, 15 to 18 hundred dollars for a bag of uh, wheat, and I think the chooks going are through at least two bags, maybe yeah, two and a half to three bags. Uh, so it's going to save us all that anyway. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty good. I think we should be fine and dandy and handy, Manny. So the wheat, and we still got the top field, uh, which we'll do on uh, the second part of the month, so the next game day, really, um, and we should be good to a rock and a roll, hoochie coo, as I just come around and try and get this. Now, like I said, not overly concerned in terms of harvesting time. We're getting the correct, nice and straight, but I think we should be good. I've kind of mixed that up a little bit. It's like I said. It's just getting to learn and know the field here and just how we can cut into it and how we can uh, go through. But I think if I just pay attention, we should be okay here anyhow. I don't think we're missing anything from there. I think we got lucky with that by looks. Yeah, looks like we got lucky. No, we've just kind of skewed it a bit, but that's okay. I'll finish those little sections off and make sure there's no one oh, keep talking to the council about this you know these folks who just think they can dilly dally and wander through yeah well sorry folks not my fault if you're gonna get stuck into the harvester me combining human f oh wow okay yeah I did I missed a <laughs> good work I need to look at my uh, my lines here um, as well where I mean but it is a funny shaped field but yeah we'll catch that at the end anyway not a worry murray as we just cruise down here and we should be good 66 percent full so we'll have to unload into the silo like i mentioned earlier and then it should be one little bit of um in the combine here so it's not too bad uh, to be honest so I think what I'm gonna do just gonna have a look here I do really need to straighten that up I'm going to okay so comment down below and what you think about this actually but I am gonna cut in from this corner now to and try and do a straight cut that way so I reckon about about there yeah well, I think we'll cut in there and see how we go and just see if we can cut into this field again it's a funny shape field but yeah if you've got any comments or thoughts on maybe how we can cut into this I mean be quite well or harvest it the same would go for seeding really just it'd be good to get a good pattern in here I'll figure it out eventually but um, it would be good to get a nice little pattern uh, so we can kind of work it a lot easier uh, obviously uh, stop going back and forth all the time well, it should be okay it's not exactly gonna be straight I think we are about 40 degrees uh, so that's not really anywhere <laughs> ideally you should be doing the, the main compass point so but I think we should be okay yeah we are cutting that a little fine now um, but no, I think we're it is what it is we'll, and we'll just do a, a Yui not a Yui we'll just spin around and uh, come back to it all right folks what I'm gonna do is love you and leave you momentarily and we will come back to you when we're almost done see you shortly
And guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are back. It is 8 o'clock in the p.m. You can see the sun has pretty much set now. Uh, just a light fading, the last bit of it. We've got the lights on at max, and we are just finishing off a little bit of the field. I'm going to go and catch this while I can here. But yeah, we've already unloaded once, uh, and now we're at 56%. So we might get about 60% out of this, another 60% uh, yeah, full in the combine, uh, which is pretty good, actually. That'll be, that's a heck of a good yield for us. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that. It shouldn't take too long again. It's just this funny corner, really, but uh, it's kind of why I took that second headland off as well. It gives me just a little bit of move, move, yeah, maneuverability um, to get this last little bit of corner there. As look at that beautiful sky. Look at that, lovely. Whoops, trees. Not even paying attention here. The trees. That's a screenshot if ever I saw one. So if we just make sure I pay attention and don't go. Could you imagine if I went to oh if I went into the sunflowers, I would assassinate my face. Right. Last bit, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. The harvest is done. I'm gonna go and take this bad boy back if I can find out where we go, <laughs> and we will be putting her into the. Uh, I'm going to jump out, put her into the... So I'm just trying to make sure we don't crash into anything. Put her into the silos as we head in for the evening. I'll take care of the... I'll have a look at the chooks. Uh, like I said, they should be still good. Um, I'll do all that off camera, but anyway, but that is it. It's August out, baby. It should be over. All right. And augers out, folks. Try and get there, there a little bit of light if we can. To see. There we go. I didn't have it all quite on. Whoosh. Yep. But done and dusted. And that is it. She is empty. Bring in the auger. Cool. Turn the lights off. Engine off. Just push into here. And you can see we've got 12,890 litres of canola. 11,136 litres of barley. 10,601 litres of wheat. And 1,200 of oats. So what I might do is feed the chooks the oats instead. I think we can do that. Um, but yeah, we've got that barley there. It was from a contract a while ago. So anyway, folks, that is all from me today. Thank you very much for joining me. As always, next episode will be continuation of the harvest because we should be due to take uh, the top field here of the wheat from there as well. So that is all good to go. Well, thank you very much for joining me today. You hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and all that jazz, as always. Until next time, I am Pakira. Take care of yourselves and each other. Kia kaha. Oh, cool. That was a good day. <laughs>